Hey, hey guys. So I filmed this video yesterday in front of my house and I decided to not use it um, for obvious reasons. Just uh, didn't want my house on YouTube. Um, but anyway, um, so I'm out here by the lake and I've got some really cool news. I'm so excited about it. Uh, I've been trying to figure out how I wanted to do this video. And uh, so it's taken me a little bit. Uh, this news started about two and a half months ago. So what is it? Some of you probably already know um, because you follow me on Instagram. So it's been on there for, you know, since it happened. In fact, I did like an Instagram stories of the whole journey. But uh, I flew to Michigan to pick something up. And a hint is I'm currently standing inside of it. If you guessed a van, you would be correct. Um, this is the inside. Uh, it's kind of dark. I still haven't done like official lighting other than um, the stock stuff that came with it. These little things. Uh, I'm always paranoid that I'm going to run out of battery, like it's going to kill it. So what I actually ended up getting were these, um, they're, they're actually really cool. They're magnetic lights they're rechargeable uh usb and so i just use those and it's worked out really good uh they last a long time this has been one charge and i used it for um two weekends and in fact one of the weekends when i was up in georgetown for the mtb experience retreat i accidentally left it on when i rode downyville uh both of them uh left them on in here and they're still still good to go and that ride was like easily three hours long so very happy with that I may just stick with that that way I'm not using a battery source but anyway so I got a 2016 Ford Transit it's um, a little newer than I was originally planning on going with but my husband had an excellent point in that you know with something a little bit newer I'm a little less likely to be dealing with um, issues like breaking down. And I do plan on using this for most, if not all of my trips. And so I definitely want reliability. Um, and so, and then we found this particular van after scouring the internet for quite a while and it had all the features we wanted, even maybe some additional ones that were a bonus. Uh, so we wanted, um, I was torn, I kind of was open to a mid-size, so the middle uh, height and mid length, and this one is actually um, the tall guy and the long guy. And so I'm okay with that. It gives me a lot more options as far as the bed went and, um, you know, as far as space inside. But yeah, I, um, I'll open the door here in a second. I actually parked next to the lake for this, figured it'd be kind of cool. I did do an Instagram thing where uh, one night I parked on the side of the road in Idaho and I wasn't sure if it was legal or not, but I didn't get a knock on the window or on the door. And so it was perfect. And you opened up the sliding door in the morning and it was just like a lake view. It was beautiful, but uh, yeah, let's get to it. I'll break it down for you guys, show you um, the build inside, I'll show you what it looks like from the outside, nothing special. It's a cargo van, no windows, except for up front, which is how I wanted it. Uh, as of right now, I don't have any walls, anything done to the, excuse me, anything done to the walls. And I really don't know if I'm going to, um, at least not in the short term. Uh, it just doesn't matter to me. And then also I kind of use the little cubbies for stuff. Um, like usually my toiletry bag is right here, fits in perfectly, but, uh, I'll turn the lights on in here and, uh, show you guys what I, what's done so far. That's what having a van opens up possibilities for. I mean, you could achieve that with a uh, tenting as well, but, uh, or an RV. It's just a van's a lot simpler. Is, uh, than an RV but uh, so anyway it's a mess a little bit because I just got back from a trip and uh, yeah so I wanted to leave the bike in so I could kind of show you what it looks like with it in there um, for right now that's temporary I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with that for the wheel right now it's just bungee to the rails my first aid kit 
But uh, what we ended up going with are these these rails that you can find in race trailers. Uh, we liked it because I left these out. We had a step here, but uh, so we put the two by fours in there, but you can adjust it. Oh, I can't do it one-handed, but anyway, you can take this out and move it up and down so we could uh, essentially adjust the height of the bed. Uh, we don't plan on it. It's going to stay where it's at. I need to finish stapling this up. These are yoga mats. I'm allergic to wood, which is super weird, I know. But uh, so I covered the entire top part of the plywood just in case to keep it off the bed. I got my totes here in the drawers here. Um, this one is like camping supplies, uh, power cords, extension cords, lights, all that good stuff. I actually pack my clothes like this. I roll them up and then I have fabric softener sheets in there to help with static and smell and whatever. Um, and then I'll, I'll show you through the back what it looks like. I've got my jump pack in here. Jump anywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, and then right now this is how I just store my food or extra like drinks that I don't want to tie up the cooler with. This is all a learning curve. Um, these things have been really great. Like super magnetic. My idea is um, to have a thing in the back. Um, I'm gonna put a, like kind of like a headboard, a small headboard back in the back and I'll put something like this on there for all my tools. Um, and then the curtains, let me switch the camera around. Yeah, so I got these curtains at Home Depot. They're like the blackout energy saving, blah, blah, blah. They're on sale for like five bucks. If I keep this, I'm probably gonna go with black cause it just kind of matches a little better. And uh, I'm gonna shorten them so that they're not like all droopy and, and uh, tighten them up. And what I'm using are these cool little magnets to kind of hold them in. And so they don't move as much. Um, when I first put them in, they were moving quite a bit and I, wanted to, it's mostly for privacy. And I did make some um, of my own. <laughs> I made some of my own reflective uh, curtain or like uh, window covers. And so um, I made it for super cheap. They want like upwards of $500 for custom window coverings that are all magnetic and all that, which is great. And maybe someday down the road, but right now I wanna try and keep things you know, manageable money-wise. And so, uh, yeah, I made my own and like I sprayed adhesive on the uh, reflective stuff and then laid the fabric over it, which I learned my lesson on the windshield cause it's all droopy. And so on the other ones, I kind of like did it with a, used a stick to kind of roll the fabric onto the, yeah, it was a hot mess. But uh, anyway, as far as the bed goes, I just got a uh, memory foam mattress from like Walmart and just put it in here and it's super comfy. Yeah, so I decided to go um, front to back with the bed instead of going side to side. And my main reasoning for that is, is I didn't wanna have to like climb over some, you know, like my husband or like my friend, if we're staying in this um, in the middle of the night, if I have to go to the bathroom, which is almost a guarantee. So that was one of the reasons. And two is, is like, I'm not living in this. And so I don't need it to be super spacey, you know, and like really, keep this front area as big as possible. And so I wasn't really worried about that. Um, it's more for convenience. And uh, one of the main reasons I got the van was I wanted to stop paying all this money to like Airbnbs and stuff, which I've saved quite a bit by finding deals and stuff, but uh, I wanted the ease of being in my own place. Um, and I like the idea of camping, but like putting a tent up and down, and um, having your stuff kind of essentially just zipped for um, security, you know, like if I leave and I've got stuff in the tent, like people could totally just unzip the tent and or cut it open or whatever. It's a little harder to get into a vehicle. But um, I don't really keep anything super valuable in the van when I'm not in it. Um, so if somebody did break in, it, it wouldn't be a horrible thing. I hope nobody would break in, but that is always a fear or a possibility. Um, when you have a van, especially for people that live in it, like that's your home. Like if people, if somebody stole it or like you got into an accident, that's your house. Like it's not just your car, like it's your home. So I, I totally get that. But anyway, 
the van has opened up so many things. Um, I've gotten to use the van a couple of times already. I took it to Idaho. Uh, that was its first like true trip. I went up there to visit with Johnny and her husband and get in a bunch of riding and it was so cool to experience that in the van. And then I've done several NICA races, which it's been perfect for that. I get there, I don't leave, so I'm okay with like being stuck at the, the you know, the, the race at the uh, venue. And uh, I have everything I need. I can sleep. I don't hang out here in here during the day. I'll like sit out in the chair outside, you know, whatever in the pits. But uh, yeah, anyway, enough blabbing. I'll show you the van. You want to see the van, right? All right, so not done, obviously. Uh, we still got to do the trim and maybe some carpet or something right there. Um, I got this little floor mat on sale at, I think, Walmart. Um, I usually have the beach towel over it, uh, just as like extra protection from getting water and stuff. We went with like a vinyl tile flooring and uh, it's okay. If I had to do it all over again, we would go with a roll of it instead of individual pieces because as you can see it's like coming up and stuff but it is what it is um at least i don't have to worry about messing it up now because it's already messed up <laughs> but that's what the bed looks like from this angle i got my campa potty this has been a lifesaver and so now i'll show you the back all right so i'm gonna try a different view uh using the GoPro instead of trying to self film it. So here is the back of the van. Um, this is it. I, uh, we have the two drawers and I'll show you how those pull out. I can fit up to two bikes in here. So um, you got the bed. It's got four uh, two by four support beams that go back. It's got a little bit of a gap here, probably four to five inches. I'll keep that. And then there'll be a piece of wood that goes across here. And um, that'll kind of keep this area closed off. And then also um, allow for me to put like drinks or cell phones or whatever, and not have to worry about them falling back. But also I wanted to have that wood here and I'm gonna put some magnetic strips across and that'll be where I'll put my tools so that I can work on the uh, bike on my park tool bike stand. So I'll kind of show you how that works. So just kind of loosen it up. Put it in, tighten it, yada, yada, yada. And then you got your bike stand here. Um, love this. I got this idea from Far Out Ride. I can't claim it as my own. They have a lot of good ideas on there. I just personally, if you guys happen to come across this video, thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much because there was so many questions that you guys answered and so many ideas that I didn't even know or like things to watch out for. So you guys saved me quite a bit of time and probably money from, you know, not making those mistakes myself. So the drawers, you basically pop both of these blue knobs down and then you pull out. And so I'd like to create a better um, handle so I have something more to grip. So you just pull this out, it helps if you have everything on the drawer, like so. But yeah, and these pull all the way out. I mean, look. I can't even pull it out because the tripod's in the way. So 60 inches out. Um, and then you would push the knobs down, push it all the way in and then pop them up and that locks the drawer. And so both of these pull out. The whole van came with these. And so I could essentially put those back on the actual walls and we might actually do that, just save ourselves some money. Like I'll put the dynamatting in there and then put these back over top of it just so you can't see it. Save ourselves a ton of money. And these are great. Um, right, so another thing that I plan on doing back in this section, other than the tool uh, wall, 
is I considered um, doing one of those door hangers that can put like knee pads, shoes, stuff. That way they're up, out of the way, plus they can like air out. Um, I might do that back here. And then also on this wall, I'll probably uh, put up some hangers for like hydration packs, helmets, and all that. So that'll all kind of go right here and it'll just organize this thing. One thing I've learned is that with the van is keep it clean and keep it organized and that space won't seem so small and it won't be so hard to find things or get to things. So I might pop in the Instagram stories that I posted up and you can kind of see the um, progression of the trip uh, if you're interested in that. And then I'll also uh, probably put in some stuff about the actual build. And so you can see the process of that, how it kind of like came together. Um, it was really cool. Uh, I learned a lot, but I got a lot of my information from a couple that posts all of their stuff on their website. In fact, they post everything right from the start all the way to the finish. And not only do they post it, but they give directions. Uh, they have tutorial videos showcasing it. And uh, that website's called uh, faroutride.com. Uh, I believe they have an Instagram, they have a YouTube and all that. So very informational. Um, it, it came in clutch for this fan build. Super stoked about this. I haven't said that enough. <laughs> in fact, I don't even know how to be excited about this. Like part of me wants to like jump up and down and be so excited. And the other's like, just be chill. You know, just say stoked a lot. So I guess the thing is, is I'm so passionate about mountain biking. I love everything about it. I like the community. I love the friends that I've made with it. I like being active. It's a way to be kind of competitive with yourself. Um, I just, I feel like I've grown as a, as an individual. I've learned a lot about myself and um, this van is an, uh, an extension of that. And um, I'm passionate about it. So, and I've learned quite a bit. It was nice to work alongside my husband and kind of learn some of those things. He did most of the work. I helped whenever I could and as often as I could, even with like the little jobs or handing him things and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, but this is it. I, uh, hopefully I didn't forget anything. Like I said, it's a dually. I think I mentioned that if I didn't, it's a dually. <laughs> Um, and it's really cool because Maxis, I contacted them. I wanted to get some beefier tires for this because the ones that came on it were um, kind of almost dead and uh, they were small. And so uh, I reached out to Maxis and my buddy Mike actually helped me find the right size and um, style. And so I went with the Maxis Bravo Commercial LT. And so, yeah, uh, one of the reasons I didn't go with a Sprinter is money. Uh, the Ford Transit was a lot cheaper. And then two, I was thinking ahead when it comes time for like, that was probably terrible. Uh, I don't even gonna be able to use that. The big speedboat was going by. Um, was also for maintenance. Like if I'm gonna get an oil change or if there's something that goes wrong, you know, what's it gonna cost me to get it fixed? And typically um, foreign cars are more expensive. I think in the near future, I want to get some solar on it, some solar panels. I want to get a roof rack. And um, I did buy a max fan, max air fan. I just got to cut the hole in the roof. And by I, I mean my husband has to cut the hole in the roof. And we'll put that in and, you know, button it up so it's, it's sealed and all that. But uh, yeah, I. This has been such a cool experience. I feel very blessed. Yeah, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this video and the surprise and can deal with my excitement because I'm super excited and I'm ready to party. Yeah, <laughs> name that movie if you got it, if this even makes it in the video, because <laughs> that was a major squirrel out moment. Um, yeah. That's it. This is my van life introduction video. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more with this van. Um, Sedona's next. I head there for Rome Fest, which is the epic women's mountain biking festival, the largest one in the world. And so that'll be my first time going there. Looking forward to it. Should be some awesome footage that comes from it. Uh, hopefully meet a lot of cool uh, female shredders. 
and uh, I'm gonna get to hang out with my best friend Johnny and our friends that we met at MTB Experience, Ruth and Michelle. They're coming down, we're all sharing a place. It's gonna be a rad time. So anyway, hope you guys like this. Give it a thumbs up. Would love it if you would subscribe to the channel, come along for the ride and the journey. I'm sure if you enjoyed the van stuff, there'll be plenty more of that, plenty more mountain biking, plenty more exploring. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.